Hey, hey, welcome back to Gadget Class. Take your seats, you're about to learn. Today we're taking a look at a problem that's popping up more and more on Windows 8.1 computers. And that is a problem where certain USB devices aren't coming back when the computer wakes up from a sleep state. Okay, on this particular computer, that is the touch screen of the laptop, which is a USB input device. Um, basically what's happening is the power management setup in conjunction with the drivers are not re-enabling the device when the computer wakes back up. Uh, it's a known bug and a known problem, and you might eventually get a driver update or a Windows service pack that'll fix the problem. But until then, I'm gonna show you how to fix it in two different ways here. The first way is for uh, specific device settings. So if it's only happening on one device, we're gonna go straight into the device manager and fix it on that one device. Um, if it's happening on multiple multiple devices or multiple functionalities are not coming back when you wake up, we're gonna fix that globally in the global power settings with the second method. So let's start with the first method. You always wanna try the first method first because it's only gonna affect the one device. So go ahead and right click on your Windows button, open up Device Manager, and you're looking for human interface devices. Um, that's gonna be all your mice, all your keyboards, all that sort of stuff. And on this particular laptop, the touch screen just shows up as a generic USB device. There's no indication of the manufacturer or which device it is. Um, so if you're not sure, do a little Google search and find out uh, what your device is called, or just start right clicking on things. If you right click on it and uh, you see disable as an option, you know it's enabled. But we come down here to the last one and look, our option is to enable it. So that means it's disabled. So we're gonna go ahead and enable that and see what happens. And sure enough, we just showed up with an HID compliant vendor defined device and an HID compliant touchscreen device. So it just enabled two devices that were disabled. I'm guessing that's the video camera and the touchscreen. So now we've got those two devices enabled. Let's see if our, yep, our touchscreen works again. So it basically disabled it when it went to sleep and didn't wake it back up. So in order to fix that, we're gonna go ahead and right click on that same device, go to properties, go to power management, and there's this little uh, option here, allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. We're going to uncheck that device and hit OK. Basically that takes the control of the device out of the global power setting management functionality. So now it'll, it'll still turn it off and on when it's supposed to, but it's not gonna be doing it dynamically using the USB uh, selective power settings that uh, kind of control all that stuff. So don't worry, you're not using all kinds of extra power. It's just taking it out of the hand of the controller. So that fixes it on that particular device. If you wanna change this uh, setting globally or it's happening on more than one device, you're gonna go into your power options. On a laptop, you can just right click on your little battery icon down there and select power options. If you're on a desktop, just open up your charge bar and search for power options. You're gonna find uh, your selected power state uh, we're on the balance mode here. We're going to click change plan settings. Then we're going to go to change advanced power settings. And we're going to scroll down here to USB settings. Open that up all the way. And we've got uh, USB selective suspend setting. That's the culprit right there. That's the one that all the USB drivers are having compatibility issues with. And uh, is the known culprit. So we're just going to disable that on both uh, on battery and plugged in. Disable that, click apply, okay, and you're done. You will no longer have a problem where USB de devices don't work when you come back from a sleep state. So that's it, super easy. Don't worry, your hardware still works and it's not too hard to fix. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel and then head over to Facebook and like the Facebook page as well. Thanks for watching.